Hope you're having a great weekend. I want to uh, touch bases with you on the updated seven-day forecast, which I've really jacked the temperatures up, if you will, uh, Monday, Tuesday, into Wednesday. So here we are Sunday afternoon. Notice Portland, northwest wind flow, 84. Not, not bad. That's uh, PDX along the Columbia River. Beige up to Salem, northeast wind flow. East means no cooling off the Pacific waters, and the temperature is 91. Uh, let's see where some of the other numbers are. Uh, yeah, well, McMinnville, there was a light northwest wind flow, okay, but they're at 90 degrees. So um, depending on where you are, uh, temperature is right around 90 degrees. All right, let me get you to my seven-day update. Here it comes. All right, and let me move this a little bit so you can see it uh, a little bit better. Okay, all right. So, boy, here we go again. So, I, I, as I mentioned, I've really warmed these numbers up. And, and we'll start with uh, Monday. Basically, mid-90s look to be a possibility the next three days. These are all northwesterly wind flows. But if you look at the air mass, the air mass, as long as the winds are fairly light and we get some sun, really should support 94. You can make the case even warmer. Really should support 96. You can make the case even warmer. And the same thing on Wednesday. No signs that we would have any 100 degree heat out of any of these days. Out in the East Gorge, though, the Dow's expected to be back up above 100 degrees in the coming days. Much of the Northwest, and certainly the Lama Valley in Southwest Washington, look at the drastic cool off Thursday, 94 to 82, and then 70s on Friday and Saturday. Well, that'd be great, right? So there's still a cold front that tracks Thursday night to come in, increasing shower chance Thursday afternoon. Best chance of rain is overnight into Friday uh, with a low pressure center perhaps giving us overcast skies and feeding some showers. That continues for one more day on Sunday. Uh, and then I need to update this. My, my seven day does an auto update. It changes the days at three o'clock. And then I have to go in manually and update the icons. That's why that's cloudy. It should be mostly sunny. Um, so here's the deal the American GFS uh, forecast model. Love showers Thursday night, Friday, and Saturday. Loves it so much it gives us a quarter to a half of an inch of rain. Wouldn't that be great? The European model takes a front, brings it in, gives us some showers Thursday night into Friday. But the trailing low, instead of having that low come right over top of us, it holds it north up closer to the Canadian border. If that's the case, we would probably be doing well to get, I don't know, something less than a tenth of an inch of rain. And there really wouldn't be much around Friday and Saturday would be dry. So those are the two things I'm looking at. The one thing I want to touch on, which, which you don't see here on my, uh, my seven-day forecast, and I'll go ahead and uh, remind you, if you're going to be doing, you know, some hiking, going up into the Cascades, I, the beauty of my site is I have these individual pages for the gorge and for the coast and, and for Mount Hood. So right now, for example, 77 at Timberline, 78 at Meadows, 78 at Ski Bowl. So it's great to check those current conditions. Great to see the seven-day forecast up there as well. Um, next week, so we have that cool down, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, kick off what could be another long stretch of maybe a week of most days hitting 90 or better. And maybe somewhere in there we get even closer to the upper 90s again, which would be close to 100. So the, the the American model for August, it prints out right now through August 17th. It gives us 10 90-degree days. So my point is, after this little respite of the heat that's coming the back half of this week, we could really turn things up, and it could be a pretty hot period through the mid part of August after that. So that's everything I know. I've been looking at the weather models for the last couple of hours. I want to give you an update um, and a reminder that um, – that you can find my seven-day forecast. I don't repost it every day on my Portland Weather Facebook page, but but often you can find this there. Um, if you don't know and you like to just see it on the on the Facebook page, <laughs> it does me a lot better if you take the time to bookmark my weather site, portlandweather.com, and go to that to check your current conditions and your forecast. Those are numbers I can use to make some revenue to keep my site going. All right, including the app. Search Portland Weather in the App Store, for both Android and uh, iPhone, and it's free to download, and it'll pop right up. I'll talk to you soon.